We've got some really promising news to tell you about. There's been a major advance in the treatment of lung cancer using drugs designed to trigger a patient's immune system. Researchers found that adding immunotherapy to standard chemotherapy cuts a patient's risk of dying or having the cancer worsen within one year in half compared with chemo treatment alone. The study was paid for by Merck, a pharmaceutical company that makes the immunotherapy drug researchers looked at. Our director David Agus leads USC's Westside Cancer Center. He joins us from Los Angeles with more on this. David, great to see you. So tell us about this new research and what does it mean for treating cancer going forward? It's pretty remarkable. Cancer cells were born with a don't eat me signal on their surface so the immune system doesn't recognize it. And this is a drug called pembrolizumab, great name, rolls off your tongue, <laughs> that actually blocks this don't eat me signal, allowing the immune system to attack it. You know, for 120 years, we've been doing clinical trials trying to get the immune system to attack cancer. Now, for the first time, we're really seeing dramatic results against cancer. I got to say, David, I like hearing a great cancer doctor say that this is remarkable. So how does it work? Well, you, you know, by blocking, by activating the immune system, allow it to attack the cancer, you're seeing patients with lung cancer who normally, when you give chemotherapy, they have 11 to 12 months of life expectancy. And when you add immunotherapy to it, you're literally seeing a doubling of how long they live. And so it still hasn't reached how long they live, so it's at least double. So very exciting, a really groundbreaking new way to treat most patients with lung cancer, a subtype called non-small cell lung cancer, which is the most dominant subtype of lung cancer. 160,000 people a year die of this horrible disease, and now there's new hope. Is this a breakthrough in a sense that will lead to perhaps other discoveries? Does this open a new pathway or is this just a great new development uh, in immunotherapy use? Well, you know, classically in cancer, we start drugs in the end stage of disease, you know, where people are failing, failed everything, and then we see if it helps. Immunotherapy had some benefit there, and this is moving it up front. So it's going to benefit large numbers of patients, and what we're seeing now is it's is betting multiple, we call it body types. So other kinds of cancer, bladder cancer, melanoma, kidney cancer, we're seeing benefit, and we're seeing more and more. There are literally hundreds of clinical trials ongoing now across the country seeing how can we use it in other types of cancer. But this is hope on the frontier. It's not a cure, but it is offering a long-term and well-tolerated therapy that can actually lengthen people's lives. And so, go ahead. Well, you talk about lengthening people's lives. Without getting too ahead of ourselves, could we possibly be looking at cures in the near future? You know, the C word, cure in cancer, is something we shy away from. And so my goal is to make people live a long and quality life while not having a lot of side effects from the treatment. And that's where we're going now. So cure is something that we certainly dream of, but I don't think we're there yet. But lengthening life in a quality way, we're seeing that with this drug. All right. Promising new discoveries. Thank you, Dr. Agus.